Hey everybody. Yes, I'm back in a vehicle, but I'm not driving. I'm waiting to go into work. I'm an hour ahead of time. Wanna avoid traffic. I got something serious to talk about today. Yesterday, something pretty major happened. Not to me personally, to a neighbor. Four <laughs> Decided the only option he had left was try to kill himself. He was home alone with his 10-year-old and 12-year-old sister. Luckily, his 12-year-old sister has a brain and knows what to do. And as soon as it happened, noticed he was turning blue, called for help, and he ended up being okay. Thankfully. I don't know what's going on in his life. I know he was bullied, and there was stuff going on at home. But it shouldn't come to that point. It shouldn't come to a point where someone is picked on and pushed down so much they want to end their lives. We are hearing more and more stories on the news and online and on social media apps about 6-year-olds, 8-year-olds, 10-year-olds, 12-year-olds, 14-year-olds, 16-year-olds wanting to kill themselves because they're being bullied. And nobody is doing anything to help them. And it's frustrating. Because it's not just a, it happens at school, they can go home and get a break from it anymore. Like it was when I was growing up. No, now they get it at school. They go home and they get slammed with social media insults. They try to use an app to let stuff out and they get picked on on that app. I've seen it happen. It's cruel. These people are relentless and it's... It's horrible, and there's no reason for any of it. I had to sit there and hold a 12-year-old and a 10-year-old that were crying and panicking because they didn't know if their brother was alive or not. That's how the ambulance, paramedic people, had him walking out of the house because the 12-year-old sister called in time. If she had called five minutes later, it would have been a different story. And the paramedics make sure to let the sister know, hey, you did it good. You did it right. You saved him. It was because of her. I've been on the end of wanting to do that to myself. But I've never seen the aftermath of how it hits the people that care about you. All I felt at that point in my life was how much happier people would be because I wasn't around. The burden of all oh, my crap would be gone. There'd be no more drama caused by me. There'd be no more anything because of me. I can make the world a better place because I wouldn't be in it. That's the farthest thing from the truth and I saw that yesterday. It kind of put me into perspective. I'm pretty sure how I felt at that point is how he was feeling. But if he saw how his sisters were reacting, how upset and how hurt, and how scared they were and how much they just wanted him back. How much they just wanted to hold him and let him know how much they love him and care about him. Maybe it would have turned out different. Maybe he just couldn't see it like I couldn't see it when I hit that point. But my message is this. If you're a parent, be aware of how your kids are acting. How they're feeling. Monitor their freaking social media even if it pisses them off because you could save their life. And not from predators, but from people mentally attacking. It's a whole new, whole new kind of predator that's out there. If you are the victim of being bullied, there's a new button out there. It's called block. Take advantage of it. I don't give a fuck how many accounts they want to make. Just keep blocking and reporting. Because... Their power comes from your reaction. Don't let them have that power. If you're a bully, face your own demons. See what you're doing. Be, talk to somebody about what's making you lash out and do this to people. Because I guarantee you, you don't want the guilt on you that something you said or did is why somebody took their life. The bullying needs to end. They need to be held accountable for what they're doing. 
We can't keep losing these young kids to bullying. Be the change, guys. It's got to stop somewhere. Somebody's got to speak up. Somebody's got to do something. That's all for now, lovelies.